Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. It was definitely um, a hard week while we were dealing with all that. And, um, you know, we're, we're getting through it. We'll get through it. Um, I just, you know, the type of family we are type of thing, you know, be there for each other the best we can. I have tons and tons and tons of people that have been reaching out and um, let me know that if there's anything I need, just let them know, um, which has been great. My sister has been staying with us. My oldest daughter, she's been coming over with the baby and we're just kind of, you know, hanging out together, trying to pull strength from each other type of thing. I knew that a lot of people, you know, really loved him. I never heard anybody say anything bad about Dusty. Like, um, I think that kind of what was the most overwhelming in a sense was everybody showing up at the hospital and the reaction from the staff. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, that was kind of more than expected in a sense. There was nurses coming into the room, mm -hmm. looking out the window and commenting and like, oh my gosh, like I've never seen anything like that and how awesome it was. I had a nurse that asked if she could um, video some of it. Uh -huh. um, we had the one of the directors for the hospital, he had came up and um, told me like, you might want to look out the window because there's a large group out there. And I was like, yeah, I'm on the phone with my older daughter. And, and he was like, okay, I just wanted to make sure you didn't miss it because it's pretty amazing. And he actually came and talked to me a couple times. Um, he went down and talked to all the people that were down there and he came up the last time and he said, I, you know, for somebody you never met, you can just, like they've all talked so wonderfully about him that you can feel how great he was, how great of a person he was. You know, he goes, it was very touching and, and like he was very emotional over it because he said, I, I've never, never seen anything like this before. And, and he goes, and then not only that, they drove an hour to do this for him. You know, it wasn't like they were around the corner. Yeah. So that I think has been like pretty awesome to see because I, I know that people were going to remember him in a very positive way. And um, I don't think he ever fully realized how many people's lives he touched and to what extent because that's he was just real humble and he just wanted to help if he could not for a reason yeah. you know he expected nothing out of it and um he's had kids in the past couple years even that have came up and told him like you know how how much they appreciated what he's done for them and best coach they've ever had and things like that and he always would kind of tear up a little bit and you know he just thought it was awesome you know, but he didn't really see it that way. The celebration of life for Dusty Park will be held this Sunday, September 13th at 2 o'clock at Prompt Valley Speedway. Everyone is invited. I just actually did a public event on Facebook. Um, pretty much anybody that wants to come is more than welcome. Um, we're going to have have water for sure. Um, we kind of talked about like a little potluck, so if anyone wanted to bring some food, but don't feel obligated to bring food by any means, we're just there more or less to kind of talk about him, remember him, and kind of give him a little final send-off.